with a video to do my spring cleaning half sheet. I've been putting this off and putting this off and putting this off, <laughs> but it needs to be done. I really need to make a list of the things that I definitely need to do as far as spring cleaning. And this is really just going to be going to be a partial list. It's going to be my starter list. And once I accomplish these things and I'll have to come back, create another list to do everything else because uh, it's just overwhelming to think of it all at one time. So I'm using a lot of stuff to make this half sheet. So this is um, half sheets I got from the socialite line and I showed these in a haul video that I done recently. There were three different ones that came in there. So I decided to use this one. The dot grid is going to help me, you know, line things up nicely. And then on the back, it has the regular graph or grid paper, however you want to call it. So that's going to really help. I've pulled a lot of icons and things from the household book. That's just one of many. I've used letters from this Agenda 52 Alpha pack. I've used Colorful Boxes number two, Colorful Boxes number one. I've used the Rainbow Book. And I've also used the Happy Memory Keeping Year of Memories um, seasonal book. So quite a bit. Um, I don't know if I'll be pulling anything else because I, as I said, I've pulled a lot already. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started here. So here's all my stickers that I've pulled. As you can see, that's a lot. I want to begin by covering this here where it says date. And I was going to cover that with a couple of these colorful boxes. So I'm using silver foil since it is prominent in the household sticker pack. Um, let's see. I'm hoping I can get this down the right way. Because y'all know I've been struggling in my last few videos with stickers and not just any stickers, all stickers, putting them straight. And I want to layer that. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. Um, Why can't I do straight lines? It kills me. It kills me. Let's see if this is going to do what I want it to do. Kind of. I mean, that'll work, I guess. Um, so I just needed to make a longer box than what was available. So I pulled this spring cleaning from that memory keeping book it had like two little gold stars on them uh, on it and I cut the gold stars out because I'm mainly going to be dealing with some silver foil and so I didn't really want those um, gold stars there I pulled a few little florals out of that sticker book as well um, let's see Put one there, and then I picked a bigger one, and put that there. I think I'm going to cut it so that everything is inside the silver foiling. Let's just pray that I can do this right. see how this works y'all because y'all know okay 
Okay, that came up pretty nice. That as well. Let's just see about this last side. Okay, it's. I can see now it's wanting to pull up the silver foiling, but okay, I got it. I am good. It pulled it up just a tad, but yeah. Okay, accomplish that. <laughs> so I hope I am in frame so you guys can see everything because it's kind of hard when you're filming from your phone. You can always see what's going on. All right, so that's done. I did pull up a little bit of the silver foiling there and there, but big whoop de doo as my mom used to say. All right, so I've set aside for this half sheet, one, two, three, four, five zones, as most people are calling them, that I want to take care of. So let me put a couple more things down and then we'll start on our first zone. So I pulled this little house sticker from the household pack as well. I'll put that there. And then we have this bless this mess. I'll put that there. Right. Trim that little bit of extra off. Okay, so zone one is going to be my bedroom. Yes, so we're gonna put this sticker down. I think this is a nice place to start here. Thank goodness for these dots because I'm gonna need them to guide me. And then I didn't think I could fit bedroom even with these tiny stickers. So I'm just going to spell out room. I have so much more to do in my room than what I'm actually going to be listing on this one. So like I said, this is like phase one and then I'll have to do like a phase two, I think, of this spring cleaning. Um, a lot of things would be better dealt with if I could just hurry up and get new furniture from my bedroom, but I'm just not in a place right now where I can actually afford to do that. Um, so that has to wait, um, but I desperately need new furniture. You know, I, I wish I was like some of those people who just don't pay their bills and just go do whatever they want to do and wait for the state and whoever else to take care of them, but that's not me. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so to clean, and the things that need to be cleaned, I'm going to use the icons for that. So I need to clean the closet. Well, actually, yeah, I just need to clean the closet. Let me put, I mean, I have things that I already have for each zone that I'm going to clean and things that I'm going to actually do. So one of the things I'm going to clean is the closet. And then the things that I'm going to do I might need more than one half sheet <laughs> while I'm while I'm tripping um so one of the things that I need to do is change the sheets And then I have a checklist and I'm thinking I'm going to cut this checklist in half. Um, I 
yeah I think I'm gonna cut it in half because I don't want to have to use too many of these sheets and it's looking like I'm already losing space okay so then we'll pull up that side and then we'll put it over here so that we still have space to write and I'm just gonna cut off that tail so that they look uniform Morning, y'all. Now, this might be a long video. I have a lot of stickers to place. All right, so of those other things that I need to do, I'm gonna, um, I also need to flip the mattress. And then I'm using icons mainly for the other things. Um, I need to vacuum. I'm gonna put that there. And then I need to, of course, I put change the sheet. So I guess I should put that right underneath. No, this was not for change the sheets. That's not why I had this icon. This was for my comforter. And so I'll need to write that in. Yeah, both of those icons were for the comforter. And then I can just put that back where I had it. Right. Okay, so we're gonna put under here dry clean. Now my pen doesn't want to work. That's great. Okay, and then vacuum. Y'all, I actually forgot how to spell vacuum. Like, when I was trying to do this, I was like, wait a minute, I know how to spell. This is weird. But every time I wrote it down, it didn't feel like I wrote it down correctly. And so I was like, hmm? Yeah, I was writing it correct. Vacuum. Okay, so that's zone one. <laughs> that's just one zone, y'all. All right, next zone is my living room. So I'm not, I'm definitely gonna have to revisit the living room on phase two of this spring cleaning because I actually want a bigger box than this one. Why did I pick that little box? I don't know, hold on y'all. I'm gonna see if I have a bigger one. actually too big so I guess I am gonna have to go with this one so we'll start down here so zone two is going to be the living room so yeah like I said I have lots more I need to do in the living room I will have to incorporate that into phase two so I'm gonna like kind of overlap these stickers a little bit just to make enough room center that as much as possible now my living room doesn't look as bad as it used to because it used to look a whole, whole lot worse let me tell you it was a hot hot mess once upon a time but I had all my teacher stuff in there from where I quit teaching um, and it was just a mess so I went ahead and situated that stuff. I gave a lot of stuff away. Um, and then I also 
just condensed everything into fewer boxes. So for this section, I don't have really a to-do list. Well, I kind of do, but I don't, I don't need a checklist. So I need to actually find a bullet point that I could use for that. So as far as cleaning, I need to mop, um, sweep and mop. So I'm gonna put those icons down. Oh, and here comes my brother. Oh God, that's why I don't like filming when I don't know when he's gonna come. My older brother, he's loud, watch. Y'all gonna hear him, he's gonna come to the door. And he's gonna be making a bunch of noise. Just watch and see, just watch, just watch. Mark my words. Mark my word. I am filming. All right, so I went ahead and pulled a to do from the colorful boxes, too. So I have this to do. And all that I need to do in the living room, because mainly I'm just cleaning. Um. Let's clear the couch. Clear the couch. Yeah. I usually like, I have a lot of planner stuff. I have planner stuff kind of everywhere. So I have some planner stuff on the couch. And then like when I come home from work, I just throw my work bags and stuff there. So I need to clear that area. Alrighty. The next one we're going to do is my car because that's the only thing that would fit down here in this space so the car is the next zone um my car is gray but right about now you wouldn't know that because it's so dirty it looks <laughs> a whole nother color right now so that's zone three is the car every time I do say I'm gonna go get it washed it rains as I speak right now I had that down to do today and it's raining so yeah cars not getting cleaned today so we have this sticker to clean And we need to wash the car. Yeah, buddy. We need to wash it and wash it good. I Last time I took it to... What was that place? Wash tub. I didn't really like the job that they did. They kind of half cleaned it. And that kind of made me mad. And so, I don't know. I'm going to give them another try. All right, so that's that zone. So now we can flip this baby over and do the next zone, which is the dining room. Yeah, the dining room. Okay, so I'm going to do... And then we can write in dining. And I didn't think about decor for the back side of this. So I'm gonna have to find something. I might add more of those flowers when I'm done but on the back side. Um hope everything, like I said, is in frame. I hope everything was in frame for that last section I did. If not, guys, I apologize. It's really difficult when you're filming like this. So, dining. And I didn't center that quite that well. And that's going to bother me. I can't have it. I cannot. I'm going to have to pull them up. It's going to bother me. So, I fixed that, and that looks better. It looks a lot better. So, the to clean, let's go 
ahead and put this down. So what we have to clean is just pretty much sweeping and mopping. And then the to do's, um, there's quite a few to do's. How did I do that on the other side? Okay. Okay, so one thing to do for sure that I definitely have not done yet, and I go by Lowe's like all the time because it's right next to Sam's and I'm always at Sam's, is I need to get another light for the dining room. There's no light in there and it's ridiculous. It's been too many weeks that we've been without light in there. So I don't know, we're tripping bad not getting that done by now so I'm going to do the same thing that I did before and I'm going to cut the checklist in half and then I'm going to put the other part over here that's not straight and then I'm going to also cut off the tail like I did before so that's why I like the dot grid and the grid paper like I said it helps you line stuff up straight especially if you're not one of those people that do things straight I was saying in my other video how um if you ever watched the channel run with craft scissors that girl is a pro at putting stickers down straight like I don't know how she does it I don't know all right so our last zone is the den now our den is like an all-purpose room. This den was originally a garage. My landlord had apparently at some point changed it into a den. Off of the den, well kind of in the den, there's a door that leads to the washroom. There's no door on the den itself. It just opens right up into the living room and dining room space. And so it's a mess back here and all the mess can be seen easily because there's no door. <laughs> and um, this is where I have my planner space slash craft space slash filming space. Um, when I'm filming my plan with me's and stuff, I, my, my desk is back here. and. Um, we also have some couches back here and it's just kind of like our storage space as well so it's it's really a lot going on back here oh that's gonna I'm gonna move that over because that's gonna be in my um punch and I don't want to punch this again nope surely don't I have to try to make this as straight as I can. Alright, so to clean again is mainly sweeping and mopping, but there's lots to do back here. Lots, because it's a mess. And I need to cut the tail end of that. All right, now as far as 
what to do. Um, I didn't really have an icon for that, which makes me feel like I need something there because I have something everywhere else. So let's go through here and see what we could use to clean the windows, clean the oh no, polish the wood. Mm, maybe dust the blinds, spot clean the walls, organize. All right, I'm going to. Pull this and I'm going to cut off the word pantry um, and I can always use that for something else so I'm going to cut that off so this did say organize pantry and I'm just going to use the word organize so that's all I'm going to use from that sticker because that's all I need from that sticker and then yeah so there's a lot of to-dos to do there. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out the rest of my to-dos and I will be back. Okay, so I finished writing in all of my to-dos. So let's just take another look at it. So at the front here we have that we're doing spring cleaning. We have some florals, which I'll probably add some more of those. Bless this mess. And we've got the little house there. Zone one is my bedroom. We need to clean the closet, change the sheets. This is it's uh, indicating taking the comforter to the dry cleaner, vacuuming, and then flipping the mattress. Um, in the living room, living room, we need to sweep and mop and clear the couch. Um, in my car, I need to just get it washed pretty much. I don't think I had anything more that I needed to do with the car. So I'm either going to get it washed um, or possibly pay my brother to detail. That's an option, but he says he's not doing it for free for me anymore. I gotta pay him. <laughs> All right, and then the uh, next zone is the dining room. We have to sweep and mop, get a new light fixture, clear the table, organize the baking rack. Um, the baking rack is a hot mess. Um, purchase new dining table and chairs. Then in the den, we need to um, sweep and mop and do some organizing. So we need to organize all of the planner supplies, clear the couches, clear the desk, and possibly purchase some storage bins. So since I have this extra space and I use those other florals, I thought I would add some more of them just as a finishing touch to this spread. All right, so, and I have been hoarding these florals actually. I have not used them and I've had the sticker book for a minute. down and that's going to be it for this sticker sheet. Okay, that is it. So I like how this turned out. So like I said, this is phase one. Here's our front side, living, bedroom, living room, car, dining room, and den. And here's the back. Very pretty. I love these um, half sheets. And so there you have it. So how is spring cleaning going for you guys? Have you made your list? Are you checking things off? Are you getting things done? Definitely comment below and let me know how spring cleaning is going for you. I will list all of the sticker books that I can find. I'll link them below in the description box in case you're looking for any of those. And um, I'll try to link the... Um, half sheets if I can find that link for you as well. So you guys know what to do. Be sure to slay, subscribe, like, and accept the alerts, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.